If you are like us, you're probably freaking out over the mind-boggling Avengers, Infinity War ending. Spoilers ahead, the horrifying consequences of the ending continue deep into the post-credits scene, in which Nick Fury, before rapidly disintegrating into dust, manages to send a beeper message to the one and only Captain Marvel, the Air Force-trained superhero and with alien DNA. Yep, this is a setup for the upcoming Captain Marvel film, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's first female-led solo movie, which will come out mere weeks before the next Avengers project. The film's protagonist will be played by the effervescent Brie Larson, who is best known for her Academy Award-winning role in the 2015 film Room. While it was rumored weeks earlier, fans first officially found out about Larson's casting as Captain Marvel during a surprise announcement at Comic-Con in 2016. In a heartfelt Instagram post, the actress admitted to feeling nervous about the announcement. She also expressed her gratitude for the outpouring of love and support from fans. Woke up this morning thinking about the tidal wave of support I got this weekend. It was nerve-wracking to trust fall into the internet. I know who I am, but it's wild how quickly you can forget once someone calls you something terrible. I was reminded how the acceptance of community is a deeply rooted need, Brie explained in her post. Her nerves were warranted. Marvel's announcement, after all, dropped around the same time that the female-led Ghostbusters revamp came out. The new Ghostbusters film received acrimonious backlash for switching things up from its canonical male-led 1984 predecessor and pandering to female audiences. The success of Wonder Woman, however, has revealed how powerful and impactful a female-led superhero movie can be in modern times. Naturally, we're only expecting the same from Captain Marvel. Portraying the first female MCU film lead, who is likely to undo the fiasco of the jaw-dropping Infinity War ending, Larson inevitably carries a lot of responsibility and has been under scrutiny. Some fans have criticized Marvel for casting Larson, 28, to portray Captain Marvel's gritty, experienced Carol Danvers, who is supposed to be in her mid-40s. In an interview with Vanity Fair, comic book writer Kelly Sudaconic, who popularized Captain Marvel, defended Larson's casting, saying, she has a gravitas and she has a power to her. But you can see she also has a sense of humor and playfulness there. Look, we all know that Hollywood has an age problem with women. Would I like to see more women on screen over 40? Fuck yes. Women with power as protagonists and physical heroines? Fuck yes, DeConnick said. She, Larson, has a lot to carry. Do I wish there was a wider representation of women on screen? I do, and I'm sure Bree does too.